Coders have their tastes. Some keep the code simple, others like a bit of chaos, and others don't give a shit about anything at all. Who hasn't fitnessed the fights over which approach is better? Cups or spaces, camel case or snake case? It's like arguing about your favorite flavor, but for the code. Now, think of the world where your code style isn't only about what you like but a team decision. It's like an agreed local law, a compromise that must be restricted. All those things sounds fine, but how to make sure the rules are followed? Should we hire someone to validate each line of the code pushed to the repository for the rule breaks? Yes, but it won't be a person. We will hire tools called linters to guard code quality and consistency for us. So, welcome back, I'm Przemek and in the latest material that you can find on my channel, I will talk about ensuring code quality and consistency using linters and formatters. So, check it out! It was a calm Sunday evening 22 years ago, I was 8 years old, slowly getting ready for my evening routine when suddenly I remembered that I had to write an essay for school due to the next day. The first thoughts that crossed my mind? Mom's gonna kill me. I quickly sat down, right? I was a bit uh, worried about the outcome, but I knew that I had to act. After drafting a rough version, I went down to my mom, asked her to check my work. It wasn't without nerves, of course, but my mom agreed to help me. After all, she chose I didn't embarrass myself at school. After a quick analysis and some revisions, the task was ready. And that was my first time with a linting process. The process of analyzing the work for potential grammatical mistakes, spelling errors or stylistic issues before it gets read by the teacher just to have a greater chance of getting better grade. And now, 22 years later, I use similar process in coding. Of course, I don't ask my mother for help anymore or use a dictionary. I use linting tools that, wo that does what my mother did the years back. So, linting process in terms of coding is simply the automatic process of checking the code for errors or stylistic issues before it gets executed or deployed based on the specific coding standards. What are they? Coding standards are the set of guidelines, conventions and best practices that developers follow when coding. They define the style, formatting and structure of the code, help avoid common problems, improve readability and simplify changes. They can be maintained using two types of tools tools, linters and formatters. Linters analyze the code for errors, potential bugs or style violations based on the predefined rules. They catch issues that might slip up through unnoticed, helping you write a cleaner, more error-free code and maintain a consistency. Formatters, on the other hand, automatically tidy up the code, ensuring consistent formatting across the project. They handle things like indentations, spacing and code layout making your code nice looking and organized without manual work. Ok, I agree, you probably heard this definition not really once. It is a classic one that all similar articles repeat over and over. It all sounds great, right? But how does it translate into real benefits for you? How it can enhance the process you are working on? I will share my perspective and the real experiences as a team lead and engineer to answer th those questions in the plain language. At first, linters helps me stay calm and avoid burnout. As a lead engineer at Coditive, I barely have a time for simple, redundant things. Dealing with them makes me angry because I mostly have other, more crucial things to focus on. If I have to write fixed formatting more than zero, especially in the long-term projects that the team should already know well, I reject the pull request right away and don't check anything else. It shouldn't be my job to verify such obvious code aspects. Such simple things can impact how others see you and whether you become a source of frustration for them. I'm sure that under the pressure my anger can be felt and it makes me sad. Trust me, those seemingly small matters can contribute to burnout and not many people talk about this. That's where linters come in hand. They save time by handling those checks, for example before pushing the code to the repository, and ensuring that such obvious things are, are already handled. It allows focusing on giving valuable feedback rather than dealing with formatting checks, which should be handled 
earlier. The next thing is that they lend consistency and uh, attention to details. I make learning code quality a daily habit. As I can spot the code mistakes right away as I write, I naturally get better and my code improves over time. After a while I'm writing a code that is so clean that it doesn't even need formatting. Just practice makes perfect. And sometimes people, especially juniors, ask how do I do auto reviews so fast? And it's easy. With regular practice I've made a habit to check that the code is well formatted and well written uh, as I write. So when it's time to check a pull request, it makes less time because I've already done the work. Linters helps me avoid unreadable code. I hate dealing with spaghetti code, seriously, especially when I'm under pressure for a high, sta high stakes projects. If something goes wrong and I have to dig into the code, external code, seeing a mess like this makes me seriously consider throwing my mug by the window. I'm not even able to roll up the function because formatting breaks this. And this code isn't so bad. I've seen much worse. Coding standards helps me create a code that is not a headache maker for others. I'm aware that Dev spends a huge amount of time on reading the code rather than just writing, so I try to help them just as I write. I hope that karma will pay me in the future. They also helps me dealing with problems under the pressure. There are, there are cases when I need to whip up a solution quickly just to save my ass. Let's say that I misunderstood the client's requirements, created a feature that slightly off and realized it at the last moment. So, in a rush I patched it up with a quick and dirty code just to get the job done and run a tool that transforms the code into the nice looking one in the blink of an eye. Coding standards combined with tools like linters and formatters allow writing the code that looks like shit but becomes pretty at the end, just with one comment. I could talk and talk about the advantages of using the coding standard and linters but I don't want to get you bored. In general they are are one of the most important aspects on my coding approach, of the coding approach that I truly believe, and that's not only for me but for the whole team that I run. They are so important that they are required in the workflow that we use, and I know that many other teams also require them in the process, so the coding standards just makes our life easier. So what tools should be used for linting? In general, many tools can be used for this. I believe that each programming language has its own tools, but in this course I will mainly focus on the tools that enhance the classic web development stack. I will discuss editor config for general formatting, PHP code sniffer for linting PHP code, prettier for formatting JavaScript or CSS code, stylelint for linting CSS code and slint for linting JavaScript code. Each of them will get a separate article and video, so stay tuned. I will show you how to build your own linting setup and all from scratch, so you should get the knowledge that will help you build as solutions that are universal, no matter if you use WordPress or Laravel or even uh, Next or another JavaScript framework. And I think that it would be all for this short intro about the linting process and coding standards in web-based applications. I'm aware that you haven't seen the real working examples and that I presented only my preferences and only the uh, things that which they solve for me, but I believe, I hope, they that I encouraged you to check them more deeper. Um, if you want to see the real working examples and the exact examples how they solve my problems, your problems, please stay tuned and subscribe to my channel if you don't do this already, because in the next videos I will discuss exactly those topics. And I will start from one of the most important and most simplest tools that I use for formatting. I will talk about uh, editor config. And let me know in the comments what opinion do you have about linting tools and coding standards? Do they help you? Or you have a problems with them? If so, please let me know, I'm really curious what are your experiences. Thank you for today and wait for the next video about editor config. See you later.